I'm here with Snoopy. This is Torch. After the Riot World Championships, Season 2, how do you feel right now? That's awesome. I feel, I feel uh, yeah, this has pretty much been like the, the largest esports event ever. We're here right after the finals got concluded. TPA just won an amazing series. Were you expecting them to come out like that? I actually did. I, I had TPA as the favorites for this. Um, I knew it'd be a close game. I, didn't actually think, I thought they would take it a 3-2, not a 3-1. So I'm, I'm really hyped that the guys took it. I spent a couple of, like a week there in Taiwan with those guys, really nice guys. Um, they're incredibly committed to the game. I mean, I was there when they're curfew at 11 p.m., waking up at 8 p.m., going to the gym, having breakfast, a really strict schedule, and I'm glad it paid off with them. That's really nice to hear. Like, we saw so much energy and cheering from the, the fans here in the stadium for TPA. From a, a player's perspective, like, how does that change your mentality when you know you've got the entire stadium cheering for you and wanting you to win, wanting you to get those kills? I think that was actually one of the biggest things I said is I thought it was going to go 2-2 and then that last game would be all about the crowd pushing you forward and I thought that's when TPA was going to take it but the crowd was with TPA from game one. So they carried them through and I think uh, it was really impressive they pulled it off for the crowd especially and the fans at home. Have you experienced a situation that was similar to this? Do you have any of the stories that like uh, you guys were in a 2-2 situation and the crowd kind of tipped it one way or the other? Um, especially early live last week, it was a, a point where we were like, when TSM got knocked out, who were the favourites in Cali, and then it became us, CLG, EU, against those games against World Elite, the best of three that went on for seven hours. The crowd got behind us, and our spirits were so high, and we're feeding off the crowd. And it's, it's really like, I can't even describe it, it's really like a huge emotion you feel inside you when that happens. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but they weren't cheering for you guys, they were cheering for the, the ward kills, and which team's wards were actually better than the others, but... <laughs> Either way, it turned out pretty well. You guys made it so that uh, you extended your series to be over four days or five days. Uh, how did that feel, knowing that you had to just come back and play one more game to decide if you're going to continue on or not? That is actually really intense. When it's a best of one, like we, we're a, a team that likes best of threes because you, you always kind of get into your groove in a sense. But when you come back after a couple of days and go in a best of ones, especially against the Asians, who are like the biggest theory crafters in the industry. It was really a lot of pressure on our heads. I'm glad we pulled it off, but it was scary. It definitely wasn't easy. Your team has been traveling all around the world. You played in all the major tournaments in Europe and actually made it out to OGN the Champions for one of those seasons. Uh, what, or how would you rank this tournament here today, and where do you think it needs to go to improve uh, for the next year? I actually think this rivals every single event I've been to in the past, even the OGN finals at the War Museum. Um, even the event in Taipei where we had like 50,000 people attending, this rates there like above those. The, like, the player lounge for example, how well we're catered to from the production value of the actual event itself, the stage, the, the actual videos going in behind it from the videos team, it's amazing and I cannot wait for season 3. I can't wait, can't wait for it to start in February. Speaking of season 3, what are you guys planning to uh, prepare for that and like, how are you guys taking the emotional roller coaster that this uh, entire week has been and, and applying it to the next season? I think it get, I got a huge budge, a huge budge out of the past week and it really like, it fired me up wanting to be even better than we were. Because like, even though we're, I'd say we're training harder than most European teams and pretty much the entire NA scene, but compared to the Asians we're not training as hard as they are. And I think if we even get close to training as hard as they are, I think we're very big contenders for season three. Well, we got an entire season to uh, figure out if that's going to be going down. While we wrap this up, Snoop, do you have any last shout outs or, or uh, cheers to your own fans that you want to make? I would like to thank the fans over the past year. They've been absolutely fantastic, following us all around the world, even when we've not been able to stream. They've been, you've been phenomenal. Uh, Without you guys, we wouldn't be here, and especially the sponsors, Razer, of course, uh, on 3D and XMG for, for helping us get here. You've been absolutely amazing. Thanks very much. You guys have been amazing to them as well. So thank you very much, Snoopy. This has been Torch of the Riot World Championships.